So for those of y'all that have been following along, you guys know we're in the middle of our kitchen remodel. We are getting close. Uh, today I am going to be setting the pendant lights up that are gonna be going over the island. So this is a very terrible, very sucky job because I have to climb up in the attic. That's why I'm doing it this morning because I don't want it to be a thousand degrees. It's probably still gonna be like a hundred degrees up there, but I'm gonna try and do it before it gets too hot. And we're gonna go ahead and hang and install these two pendant lights. So I'm super excited about it. We're gonna attach them to the light switch that's over there, which means I need to run a wire from that light over to these two, um, and then it will all kind of connect together super easily. So Marcy's gonna help me turn off the breaker, and then they're gonna leave for a little bit so I can just kind of work on this without the babies running around. And maybe I'll have it most of the way done by the time she gets back. So y'all stay tuned. This is uh, probably one of those things that's gonna change the look of this room completely. Don't you think? Dad, you're coming with me. And Maverick's gonna go with Mama. Yeah. Okay, we're getting ready to put these lights in and we're trying to figure out where exactly they're gonna go as far as the spacing over yeah, the so island. Especially since we're so high up. So, that's what we're thinking. No. Is that still too close? No. You want them closer? Don't do them further apart. It'll look so weird if you looked at your massive island and had your lights over here versus your lights like this. They're not supposed to be like this. They're supposed to be like this. Okay. Are you good with that or do you want to change that? Doing an inch off of center. It would be just like that. You're hesitant. Well, like, like, from my perspective, look at it from the whole picture. Like, you have to look aesthetically what's it going to look like with the whole island because it's not just the lights. Right, that, the whole island is done. Exactly. So you look at it, and if you space it out further, like you're saying, look how it looks with the chairs, like it looks weird. Like it doesn't, nothing is symmetrical. Like you lose all symmetricalness. Okay. So what I'm saying, like why I said do it here and here is because then everything lines up. Like all of your lines go together instead of like this. I don't know if you would notice that when they're not gonna, on the island. Yes. You're not looking at this line. I'm looking at this. Okay. So what I'm saying is you don't put a light halfway between the chairs. You put them in, the, in between the chairs. Like versus halfway over this one. So, yeah. Yeah, do the inch over. No, that's not an inch. That's centered. Looking at it here, I don't, how big is this space? Just measure the space and see how big it is. Tip measures right there. 24. 17 inches. Over 17 inches. 17 and a half. Right, and the space down here is 26. Down here at the bottom? Well, from center. Yeah, and it's 20 inches from here. Which both of those numbers don't seem too close to me. This is like 21 inches. And this one is like 22. 20, it would be the same. Yeah. <laughs> so if we moved them, I would say move it so, yeah, the one inch over. So then it still looks okay with the counter. Like here looks okay. So should we be measuring just the top? Do you want this space, this space, and this space to match up then? Yeah, I think that would make sense because you're not. Yeah, like. We'll measure that now because that's like an inch off. So what does that, does that get us close? That's 22. That doesn't make any sense. How did we go from 17 to 22? By moving because... it one inch. One inch, one well, inch, okay, no. Inches. I'm. I moved it. I guess two inches. Up. 
I wasn't going an inch off the center, I was going an inch off the line. What's that? That's 20. Wait. Okay, measure those two now. That should be 20 and 20. Yeah, 20 and 20. Like 20 and a half. Okay. So, have to so we want to go with 20 inches, basically. Yeah, because it's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's 80. Yeah, it is 80. What is it? 2, 4, 6, 8. Because these are 10 inches, huh? So we can do that. We can do 10 in or 20 inches apart. What's that? That's, it's 10. So, so 20, 20, 20, 20, and then 10, 10. 20, 10, 20, 10, 20. That works. Yes. Yeah. I like that more. Do you like that more? That gives you more space. I think that's good. But everything is still even. I don't care. Whichever way you want to do it, I, I'll do it. I don't really care. But I do like, I like that a too, little bit bigger. Then you're standing here. That's not so narrow. Here, Yeah, it's off-centered. So I think we got it figured out, and what I did, we marked everything, we centered it on the island, figured out our spacing, and then I have this laser, and it just shot up and put the dot right where the center of the light needs to be. So I also marked this side over here, you can see that little dot. Um, so what I'll be able to do is now, I need to put in two electrical boxes up there. So I can just go up there, trace the box, cut the drywall, climb up in the attic, which is gonna be the absolute worst part, and run the wires, put the box in, and then be able to attach the light that way. There's no going back from this. Using a drywall saw here. Oh, that's going to make for something interesting. I don't know how exactly I'm going to deal with that. Let's see if the other one's on a stud too. Same story, second verse. Same song, second verse. Okay, so that does change things a little bit. So the parts that I have for this are these. This is supposed to span between the two trusses Nail this in, you can adjust it wherever you need it. Well now, this isn't gonna fit. At least without me modifying it. Hmm, I'm just gonna modify these. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut this with the chop saw, cut off the section, we'll wedge it up in there, and that should still give us a really good anchoring point for the lights. I'm gonna pull out the lights and make sure that 
I can get the anchoring right. But I think, I think it'll work to do it that way. Sometimes with this kind of stuff, you just kind of have to get after it and uh, work around the uh, issues that you run into, including apparently not knowing where any of the parts are. I'm gonna have to call Mars. All right, all right, I found them. They were outside. So, how does this work? That is the question. Guess we better just pull out the instructions. Look at that. They draw it out for you. Okay, well, we're missing number five, part number five. And. Yeah. Oh, wait, here's one. Gosh dang it. That's the problem. We opened these forever ago thinking we were going to do it, and then we didn't get to it. So now I'm going to have to go track down all these parts. Okay, so that's part number five. So this mounts on like that. So I'm thinking if I cut off this side of the box to keep it centered, then we should be all right with everything lining up and uh, still... Oh, I guess it goes like that. Still hooking up right. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm getting suited up to go into the forbidden attic. I've got wires hanging out of the ceiling. Uh, that's just kind of to mark the hole. That one will go between those two. That one will go to there. It'll all get wired in properly. Uh, the worst part, going in the attic. So, here we go. Here goes nothing. Hopefully this is uh, gonna go quickly and easily without too many hiccups. Save me! Oh man, I hope I don't get stung by any wasps up here. Oh, it is definitely very warm. Oh my gosh. Gotta keep all the fiberglass out of my lungs. Whoever put this, uh, doorway attic entrance right here was an idiot because the roof is so sloped can't hardly get in <sighs> okay now somewhere over there that's where I gotta go. <sighs> Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> okay, I see some light over there. I assume it's coming from the island. There's one two spots and the third one is back there that we have to connect to I am fixing to get covered in fiberglass gosh dang it I'm starting to see mud daubers or bees of some sort. I don't know what it is, but I am not liking it. Ah. Oh. How in the heck did that just slice me open? Ah, flip. Ah, oh, oh my gosh, freak. Ah, both of my fingers. <laughs> Ah. <sighs>
Uh, and that B, what the heck? Dang. Freak. All right, I'm done. I have to be done. Uh, what in the heck? Why? This is not... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, flip! Ah! Uh, uh, freak! That hurts. The problem is, is I'm sure there's fiberglass inside of the cuts. Wow, Marcy cuts her finger a week ago, and now I just sliced two of mine. And I didn't even get that finished. Ah! Ooh, I'm really lightheaded. I'm so mad. I am so mad. I don't even know how that happens. So it's my pinky and my pointer finger on my right hand. Oh, okay, I gotta go lay down. Oh. It's not even that bad. I don't know why I'm freaking lightheaded. Oh. Well, we just pulled out the super glue to super glue Marcy's finger because it was opening a little bit after her stitches. Yeah, so I got the super glue out. Guess I'm going to be super gluing two of my fingers. Dang. That's pretty freaking deep. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Whew. I think we're good. So I did also find while I was up there that one of our AC vents where it comes through the ceiling had come completely detached from the stud. So it's been dumping cold air into our attic rather than into our living room. So, <laughs> I am going to be uh, trying to fix that. Ow, this doesn't really feel good, y'all. I still have mobility, so that's good. All right, well, that definitely sucked. Thankfully, they like, got cut at an angle, so the skin is able to just kind of fold over and seal in the wound. Um, I'm gonna stick a little band-aid on them here real quick and then uh, force myself to climb back up in there and get this job done. 10 out of 10, I do not recommend this. I don't even know how I cut myself on the piece. Obviously there was a sharp spot on it. You can see I like I was opening the uh, track on that rail. And that's what cut me. Woo it's getting swollen. Pinky hurts. Y'all can probably also see all the other red dots on my neck and on my arm here, right there. And probably on my other arm, on my head right here. Yeah, I also got into poison ivy a couple of days ago, and I've been fighting that as well, and it is absolutely miserable. So just add this to the mess of problems I have right now. Oh my gosh. I just gotta get these lights done. If I can get these lights done, then I guess I'll be worth it. I got it all taken care of. Fingers are holding up all right. Gonna have to go switch out those band-aids here pretty quick. You can see all the fiberglass floating around. That's why you definitely want to wear a mask every time you climb up in an attic or something. So I've got all the wires run, so everything should be set now to where we can climb out of here and wire it all up from the outside and be done messing around up here. All right, well, that's one down. Um, we'll see what Marcy thinks of it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other one up there. We don't have any light bulbs to test it, so I'm pretty bummed about that. <laughs> Thankfully, Marcy's at the store and she's gonna pick up some light bulbs, but uh, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the second one up there and we'll see how it looks all together. Guess who just got home with the light bulbs? I just turned the breaker back on, the light works, but we don't know if those two pendant lights work. Let's go get the light bulbs, see Marcy and the boys. It's really windy today. Uh, and see what she thinks of it. Maverick, what do you think? Like it. What is it? My new lights. Your new lights? Should we see if they work? They look good. Here, hold this. You did a good job. Let's, well, we'll see. It just looks so different. And awesome. you're like, it did, it does change the look. We've never had light fixtures in this house. Wait, isn't the lights off? Yeah, like the power's off, right? No. Oh, you turned it back on? Yeah, the power's off. Yeah, like the light bulbs? Yeah, I mean, those are the only ones they have. I know, I'm surprised. Usually they have just like their own ones. Uh, uh, what do you mean round ones? Uh oh, it's not me, right? <laughs> Why did that turn on? I must have this one wired backwards. So when you turn the light yeah, on. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> uh. They don't ever turn off. They don't turn off. And those ones never turn on. So that means I've got, I, I have the power wire switch here. Did you put two power wires on this one? No power wires on that one? No, it's just, it's a <laughs> continuous loop and the loop must stop. So, okay. Well, we'll give it another try here. Okay, so I had one of the things reversed. So I flipped it and check this out. Da 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 da! It works. What do you think, Mars? That adds so much light to this room. Oh like, so much light. Wow. I'm excited to see it at night. Yeah, they might be too bright because you kind of want to be able to look at those lights in a way. Like the pendant, like I can't even look at the pendant because they're so bright. Yeah. So we might go with a slightly dimmer light. But what do you think? Do you like it or no? Yeah, you're right. It is hard to like look it's, at them. It's too, they're too bright. But then like at the same time, is it just us taking some time to adjust to them? Maybe. I it's mean, daylight. It's only 40 watts. Yeah, I know. Like, well, but they're pretty bright. Yeah. It's probably because there's so many of them. Yeah. But it's nice. I think it looks really good. There's kind of the overview of the kitchen. It's a mess. <laughs> We're gonna clean it here, but there is the lights installed. Only almost lost two fingers, so we did pretty good on the project. That means this kitchen has almost cost us all three fingers. It's, called, it's a three finger kitchen. <laughs> That's gonna do it for us today. We got the lights in. Hopefully my fingers are gonna heal up all right. I think they're gonna be okay. Thankfully it wasn't like terrible, terrible. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We absolutely love the new lights in the kitchen. We're excited to show you guys the finished kitchen here super, super soon. Y'all stay tuned. We'll see you on the next video.